Hi, I wanted to come on and share a, a story, a testimony for the Lord, which I hope will be encouraging to you. I haven't shared this before, and hopefully it will encourage you if you have trouble um, speaking about your faith. Um, it's it's had to become a habit for me. I've blundered and I've said, you know, magic instead of mir miracle, and I've, I've, you know, kept quiet when I felt I should have gone forward. So, you know, it's a learning process, and the Holy Spirit will teach you uh, how to say things and what to say when and I'm still learning. So this is a story that ended ended with great praise to Jesus. So I wanted to just share that and encourage you today. So um, this happened a little while back. I have a business that I'm able to interact with people and I've interacted with people that I've known for a while. So I know a little bit about them as they come in and can greet them and ask them questions about their life. And, and so this older gentleman and his wife came in and he was really wobbly and shaky and walking really slowly. And I said, hi, how you doing? What's what's going on with you? And he looked up and he said, you know, well, I got that thing in my arm and I haven't been the same since. And I'm shaky. I'm wobbly. I can't catch my balance. Um, no one know what's, knows what's going on. And I've been to 50 doctors. I just looked at him and said, well, have you prayed about it? And he, he looked at me and he said, do you believe in Jesus? And I was going to answer him right when I was going to answer him, this other good customer, a gay couple came in right behind him and they heard him ask me that, do you believe in Jesus? And for that split second, I just said, you know what, if I acknowledge this and stand for faith, then I am going to potentially lose this other customer that just came in that may be offended by what I say. And I just, for that split moment, it just raced all through my head. And I just turned and looked at the man and I just said, yes, as a matter of fact, I do believe in Jesus. And my heart was racing and I just said, you know what, let it be what it is. And the gentleman and I continued talking. I, you know, asked if he would pray about it and, you know, to keep me posted on how things are going. And he turned and left with his wife and the couple that had come in to hear that confession turned and looked at me and one of them ran over to me and said, you, you believe in Jesus. And he said, oh, so do I. I said, I'm being called back for, to the Lord and I grew up as a Christian and I've fallen so far away and I don't know what to do. And I'm so excited that you believe in Jesus and what happened. And so he continued to ask me questions because over the years that we'd known, we never really shared that. And he didn't really see me, you know, professing that or, or living that way. And so we continued to sit and share together and he was so encouraged and his his partner was not that encouraged and was um, looking pretty glum at the time, listening to the conversation and not saying a word. But this one gentleman was just so excited and happy to be able to share what was bursting out of him. He clearly was being called by the Holy Spirit and back to Jesus. And I was so grateful in that moment that I had said something because what if I hadn't said anything? And what if this this man finally quenched what was happening in his heart? And because no one would testify, no one would say anything and he felt alone. And I just just wanted to share that encouraging word um, to someone who is, if you're afraid to say something, you know, if not now, when? We have to say it and speak up no matter what we're we're doing. And then the final thing is I, I was so excited and pleased with myself and boasting in the Lord and, and happy that I had said something. And I went home that evening and I was praying to the Lord and I just said, you know, I am so thankful. Thank you for giving me the confidence and the courage to say, give me a confirming word and I that I did the right thing and that I said the right thing. And and I opened the Bible immediately to first Peter and I'm going to read it for you right now because it, it was so powerful and such a confirmation um, and only the Holy Spirit with the angels help to turn the pages. First Peter 315 and it says always be prepared to give a defense to everyone who asks you the reason for the hope that is in you. And so it was such a perfect confirmation in the Lord always be prepared to give a defense to everyone who asks you the reason for the hope that is in you. 
So praise God. Thank you for listening to this. And this, even just telling you this, just refreshes how powerful that moment was for me. So I hope this encourages you and leads you to give your own testimony when you're asked or when you're put on the spot. Don't deny the Lord. Don't deny the Lord. He is standing strong for you. So have a great day and God bless you. And we'll see you next time.